Hi, you want to know how to make millions of credits in Gran Turismo 7 and not spending all this time grinding behind your wheel? In today's video I will show you how to gain 50,000 credits in less than 5 minutes and yeah, you don't even have to drive by your own. Version 1.08 brought some changes when it comes to payout of several events. Prices of the best events um, got reduced by a lot and so I think it's time to get a new quick money guide on how to grind money in Gran Turismo 7 after version 1.08. So first thing we have to do is get the Tomahawk SRT road car. This one. It's 1 million credits but as usual you have to invest money to gain some money. The next thing we need is some rubber band or some hair tie from your girlfriend, whatever you have in your home. You can also use some duct tape, but it's easier to go through the menu after the race if you make it with uh, yeah, something like a rubber band. Another thing I'd recommend is to switch off the rumble function of your PlayStation 5 controller. You can do this in a PS5 menu. So after this preparation, we are ready to race and we head to the World Circuits events and we go to the Pan American Cup. This is a tournament but we're only interested in the first race around Daytona. We have to lock our throttle and also have to give some slight steering input to the right. So I'd recommend to use the analog buttons, so switch your controller settings to uh, throttle on the right analog stick and steering on the left one. It also works with L2 and R2 um, triggers, but I think it's more difficult to keep them in the same position for all the time, so I'd recommend this. After the start we overtake a couple of cars and then head right into the wall and lock our steering to the right side. Just a little bit so the car will stick to the wall but won't slow down too much. It will drive by its own and it's time for you to relax and yeah, do something else for the next couple of minutes. I used some driving assist but I also did some tests uh, without driving assist. They're not necessary so I think you can't do much wrong with the settings. I'm not a huge fan of um, yeah, a glitch or exploit like this, but yeah, the game economy is broken in my opinion after the latest updates. Payouts weren't um, too high before, but with the latest update it got so bad you had to have to grind for hours just to get one car. And yeah, why should we do this by ourselves if we can uh, do something better with this time and for example make a new video about grinding after the latest update. After our car crosses the finishing line we get some 52k credits and yeah, we won't go on with the championships so we have to go to the next race and then exit the championship and yeah do it all over again. I hope this will help some of you to get these super expensive cars for example at a legendary dealership. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guide and yeah if you liked it Leave it a like and also hit the subscribe button for the channel. So stay tuned for future videos. See you.